Jennifer Priest here and today I want to talk to you about Tailwind Tribes. Now tribes are going to be a game changer for you and you don't even have to sign up for Tailwind to use them. However, once you start using tribes, you're totally going to want to sign up for Tailwind. So in the description of this video, I've put a referral link that will give you a free trial of Tailwind and also if you sign up, I get a credit and you get a credit so we both benefit. So let's get into how to use Tailwind Tribes and how they can benefit your business. Now Tailwind is a Pinterest approved scheduler that you can use to schedule content, analyze content, and also find content from others via Tribes. Once you log into Tailwind, you'll be able to see your whole account here. And on the left is a, a section called Tribes. And you can see there's 4,200 pins in Tribes that I have not seen yet. <laughs> So a tribe is basically a group that you can form or that has formed around a common theme. So it can be a tribe of your blogging friends. It can be a tribe based on food, on scrapbooking, whatever you're into, you can create a tribe and then have other bloggers or other pinners uh, contribute content to that tribe. And they don't have to own or be subscribed to Tailwind in order to do this. So it's a really great way that even if you wanted to involve some of your community, you can put them in your tribe, etc. All right, so here's what's cool about tribes. People add their content and you can see up here on the side how popular it is and how well it's doing. You can also see who added it. Now over on the left is where you can put rules. Now I have rules for this tribe and it's most tribe owners do have their rules here on the top and what's really nice is you know exactly what to do when you're dealing with this tribe, right? For every pin you add, you need to pin to. So you just follow the rules when adding your content. And then when you're ready to pin from that tribe, you just scroll and find stuff that you think looks good, but you can also find stuff that's performing well. Right now it's February and this is when people are planning their summer vacation. So I absolutely want to pin this. It's popular. It has 1400 repins already and it's timely. So I'm going to pin this to a couple different boards, summer, kids crafts, travel. Once I have all my boards chosen, I can just add them to my queue. And this is going to dump that pin into all those boards. You can go through and just look at one person's pin. So I just want to see what Abby has on here because I like her stuff. And so I can just go through and, and pin only her things. I can uncheck that and then I'll see everybody's stuff again. I can see how well the tribe is performing overall. Um, there's lots of great ways to use Tailwind Tribes to find new content. And if you are looking for content, like especially if you're starting a new blog or you're starting a new niche, this is a great way to get people who are already doing that kind of content to help find it for you. You don't have to spend hours searching Pinterest or Google images or looking on blogs to try to find good content. You can tell just by looking at it how it's performing what it looks like, who's repinning it, etc. And again, if you're in a bunch of tribes, like I'm in a ton of tribes, you can just click on any of the tribes, load those up and start looking um, and finding content right away. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you some insight as to how Tailwind Tribes can help you with finding really great content in your niche and identifying high performers so that you're only repinning the high performing content to your Pinterest account. Be sure to check out Tailwind, click the link in the description so you can snag your free trial and uh, get started using Tailwind today.